in southeast China. Between mountains and sea lies a land of wonders, Fujian. Here, the intersections of mountains and sea gave rise to the unique and ravishing Fujian civilization. Today, Fujian boasts a vibrant natural ecosystem. With a subtropical monsoon climate, it is one of the country's most bioabundant and diverse provinces. In 1985, China became a party to the Convention Concerning the Protection of the World Cultural and natural heritage. Today, Fujian has four natural and cultural treasures inscribed on the World Heritage List. A green Fujian with a brilliant civilization is embracing the future. The story of Fujian begins with mountains. So does Fujian's World Heritage Protection. In 1999, Mount Wuyi was officially inscribed on the World Heritage List, becoming Fujian's first and China's fourth UNESCO Cultural and Natural Heritage Site. Zhu Xi the greatest philosopher after Confucius and Mencius grew up and spent much of his life teaching in Mount Wuyi. Zhu's Neo-Confucianism was the official orthodox philosophy in the period of over 700 years. His widespread doctrines and writings have shaped the ideals, ethical values and mentalities of the later generations of Chinese people. After Jews' philosophy spread to East Asia and Southeast Asia, from the Western Jin Dynasty, Fujian saw constant influxes of northern migrants. Fujianese, arriving in different periods, built new homes here. Fujian Tulo. The rammed earth dwellings, nestled amidst mountains, are unlike anything in the world. Erected in the southwestern Fujian, the Tulo set the stage for the life stories of one generation after another. These circular, square, semicircular, and arc shaped earthen structures are ideal place for communal residence and defense in the mountains. In 2008, the Fujian Tulo was officially inscribed on the World Heritage List for being a historical testimony to the Oriental kinship-based ethics and its universal values. From eastern Fujian to western Zhejiang, timber arch lounge bridges stretch across valleys, offering shelter for travelers in bad weather. The lounge bridges facilitate communication and trade and convey the beliefs, moral values and warmth of traditional Chinese rural society. With eaves upturned, they stand tall amidst cinnabar mountains and clear water. The Danxia landform features the best preserved ancient plantation surface, crisscrossed valleys, imposing cliffs and caves, and spectacular waterside Danxia scenery. In 2010, China Danxia Taining 
was inscribed as a UNESCO World Natural Heritage Site. The story of Fujian is also closely connected with the sea. Starting from the Tang Dynasty a thousand years ago, Fuzhou, Chenzhou, Zhangzhou, and Xiamen became China's major port in various eras. With the help of monsoons and ocean currents, goods were shipped from the Fujian ports, along with the mysterious legends of the East, to the distant West Asia, East Africa, and Europe. Between mid-19th century and mid-20th century, on the Kulang Su Island, local residents and expatriates from various countries and overseas Chinese formed a historic international settlement. More than 900 historical buildings and natural attractions of distinct styles reflect the integration of Chinese, Southeast Asian, and European architecture and cultural values. At the 41st session of the World Heritage Committee in 2017, Kulang Su, a historic international settlement, became the fourth World Heritage Site in Fujian. Fuzhou is the capital city of Fujian province of more than 2,200 years. The three lanes and seven alleys located in the center of Fuzhou has been for a thousand years the downtown residential area. The layout of its streets and lanes is known as the living fossil of China's Lifang system. These structures and decorations demonstrate the artistic taste and aspirations of traditional Fuzhou scholars and elites Standing in the Ma Xian Mountain down the Minjiang River, the tower has served as a navigational marker known as the China Tower. In the nautical charts in the late 19th century, at the foot of the mountain once nestled China's first modern shipyard and first school teaching Western seamanship and ship-related technologies, Fuzhou Naval Academy. Fujian today is the core area of China's 21st century maritime Silk Road and a vital hub of interconnectivity. It was the first in China to initiate digital development and one of China's first national ecological conservation pilot zones. It is blessed with an advanced manufacturing industry, abundant resources and rich cultural lives. that continue to deliver more happiness to the people. A new chapter is unfolding in Fujian, a 5,000-year-old civilization.